Hello friends and welcome back to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Today we are continuing with Fall Classic Baseball, our 1970 Chicago Cubs replay. And amazingly to me, we are already up to May 9th of the season. Uh, it is May 9th, 1970, the 25th game of the season and the Cubs have begun a, a homestand against the Cincinnati Reds. I won't spoil the other games, but I will tell you that the Cubs right now are coming into this game with a record of 13 and 11, which is one game off behind, one game behind their pace of 1970 in real life, or as the kids like to say, IRL. And uh, they are one game out of first place at the moment behind the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, so they're hoping that they can get a tie for first place by the time today's game is over. Cincinnati Reds are on fire. They are in first place in the National League West and they are not going to be caught in 1970. Their pitcher today is Gary Nolan. At this, at this time in 1970, Gary Nolan was a very hard throwing right-hander. Um, Later on, after some arm miseries struck his career, he became sort of a soft tosser. But in 1970, he was throwing the heat. He'll be opposed today by Cubs right-hander Bill Hands, who has a 3-1 and record in the replay. So he is by far the most successful Cubs starting pitcher to this point. So it's Reds and Cubs at Wrigley Field today. Thank you for joining me. Let's get to today's starting lineups. For the visiting Cincinnati Reds, Pete Rose leads off in right field. Tommy Helms bats second at second base. Bobby Tolan bats third in center field. Tony Perez bats fourth. He'll play third. Johnny Bench bats fifth. He'll be behind the plate. Lee May bats sixth. He will play first base. Bernie Carbo bats Seventh, he's going to play left field, and Dave Concepcion will bat eighth and play short. On the mound, it's Gary Nolan, who had 37 starts in 1970, four complete games, good for 251 innings of work. He was 18 and 7 for his one loss record. For the homestanding Cubs, Don Kessinger leads off at shortstop, Glenn Beckert bats second at second base. Billy Williams bats third in left field. Ron Santo bats fourth at third base. Johnny Callison bats fifth in right field. Ernie Banks bats sixth. He'll play first. Jim Hickman bats seventh. He'll play center field. And J.C. Martin bats eighth. He'll catch. Bill Hands is on the mound. 38 starts in 1970. 12 complete games. Good for 265 innings of work and an 18 and 15 record. On the mound for Leo DeRocher's Cubs. All right, we are using a combination of dice and fast action cards to get our results today. Let's see what kind of stuff Bill Hands has. He has A stuff. And Gary Nolan. He has C stuff. All right, so here we go with P. Rose stepping in the batter's box against Cubs right-hander Bill Hands. First pitch of the game is going to be an error check unless Bill Hands strikes him out on a 1-4. to four. He does not. So we have an error check uh, for first baseman Ernie Banks. Ernie's error number is an 8. And he makes the play. He's going to take it to the bag himself. And Pete Rose is retired in the first. We're underway at Wrigley. Now it's Tommy Helms. Hands, kicks, and deals to Tommy Helms. This is going to be lofted in the air to left field. Billy Williams under it and makes the catch for out number two. Bobby Tolan. Hands, kicks, and delivers to Tolan. And this is a base hit for Bobby Tolan. And let's see what they're going to do here. 
Perez is up. It's the first inning. We're not going to send him. Hands the stretch, the pitch to Tony Perez. He is hit on the ground to Don Kessinger. He's going to go the short way to Glenn Beckert, and that's going to retire the Reds in inning number one. So the Reds get a hit, but nobody scores. We go to the bottom of the first, scoreless at Wrigley. Gary Nolan with his C stuff is ready to throw to Kessinger, Beckert, and Williams. Gary Nolan kicks and deals, and there's a base hit for Don Kessinger. And the Cubs are starting out nicely in the first inning. All righty. So it's going to be Beckert now. Nolan the stretch of the pitch to Glenn Beckert. There goes Kessinger. Beckert swings. He lifts one in the air. To left field. Bernie Carbo. Drifting under it, Kessinger's going to return to first base, and there's one gone in the Cub first. Here's Billy Williams. He's been hot. Nolan the stretch and the delivery to Billy. Going to be an error check unless Gary strikes him out on a 1-2. to two. He does not. Error check of a 51 is going to be an error check for Davy Concepcion. That is, he is an E-12. And he gloves it. He goes to Tommy Helms for one, and the relay to Lee May is not in time. Kessinger retired 6-4 on the fielder's choice, and here's Santo. Gary Nolan the stretch and the pitch to the Cub third baseman. Base hit Ron Santo. On the infield, off of Nolan's glove, everybody's going to be safe. Williams stops at second. Two on now with two outs for Callison. Chance for the Cubs to jump out on top early. Nolan the stretch, the pitch to Callison. Johnny swings, line drive, caught by Lee May, and that's going to retire the Cubs in the first. So they threaten with a couple of hits, but don't score and leave two. We go to the second. No score at Wrigley. Bill Hands will contend with Johnny Bench, Lee May, and Bernie Carbo in the infancy, I think we would say, of the big red machine. Hands kicks and deals to Bench. This is hit on the ground to Don Kessinger. Don's up with it and throws to Ernie Banks for out number one. Lee May at the plate. Hands winds and delivers. May hits it on the ground to Kessinger. One more chance for Don. He throws to Banks, and there's two down. Bernie Carbo, 22-year-old Bernie Carbo. Comes up with nobody on and two men out. The pitch from Hands is hit in the air to right. Back goes Callison. A few steps, makes the catch, and that retires the Reds. In inning number two. Go to the bottom of the second. No score at Wrigley. Nolan will face Banks, Hickman, and Martin. Six, seven, eight batters in Leo DeRocher's lineup today. Nolan kicks and deals. Banks swings, hits it in the air to center. Bobby Tolan on the run. He's going to catch up to it in left center and makes the catch for out number one. Jim Hickman, the center fielder today, the pitch from Nolan. Hickman puts a charge into one. This is to center and deep. Back goes Tolan, and he makes the catch in front of the wall. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Jim Hickman gets a run on the board for the Cubs, but no. Two outs now, and J.C. Martin comes to the plate. Nolan kicks and deals. J.C. swings. Hits it on the ground to Tony Perez at third. Tony fields a funny hop, gloves it, and throws to Lee May, and that'll retire the Cubs in inning number two. No score in this game after two innings of play. Concepcion, Nolan, and Rose, 8-9-1 coming for the Reds. 
in inning number three. Bill Hands kicks and deals. This is hit into left. Back goes Billy Williams, but he's got room, and there's one down. Gary Nolan comes to the plate. Hands winds and delivers. Broken bat job. Gonna be fielded by Banks. He's gonna feed Hands covering, and that's going to be out number two in the Reds' third inning. Here's P. Rose as we've worked our way to the top of the Reds' order. Pete's 0 for 1, the pitch from Hands. Line drive caught by Bill Hands in self-defense. That's going to retire the Reds. Pete almost took his head off, but Bill got the glove up just in time. We go to the bottom of the third. No score at Wrigley. Good pitching matchup between these two. Bill Hands will lead off against Reds right-hander Gary Nolan. And then it'll be Don Kessinger and Glenn Beckert coming for the Cubbies. Nolan kicks and deals to... Bill Hands. Hands lifts one to center, but not deep. Under it is Bobby Tolan for out number one in the bottom of the third. Here's Don Kessinger, who's singled to start the Cubs first. Retired on a fielder's choice. Nolan's pitch to him. Hey, struck him out. First strikeout for Nolan with the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Two down for Beckert. Nolan with going to be an error check unless he strikes him out. One to two. No. Error check for Tommy Helms at second base. He is an error four. And Tommy's going to make the play to Lee May for out number three in the third. We go to the fourth. No score in this pitching duel. Tommy Helms, Bobby Tolan, Tony Perez coming in the Reds' fourth inning. The big red machine in the early years, Tommy Helms, has not been dealt for Joe Morgan yet. Hands, kicks, and deals to the Reds' second baseman. Hit on the ground to Ron Santo. Santo to his left, gloves it, plants, and throws to Ernie Banks for one down. Bobby Tolan at the plate. One for one for Bobby, the pitch. Hey, struck him out on a bender. First strikeout for hands. Two down in the fourth, and now it's Perez. One base runner, Tolan single back in the first inning for the Reds. That's it. Hands, kicks, and deals. Base hit, maybe. Yes, base hit to center for Perez. Second hit of the game, second base runner for Cincinnati, and that'll bring up Bench. The stretch by Hands, the pitch to Johnny Bench, and he got him on a bender. That's going to retire the side. Couple of Ks in the fourth. For Bill Hands, we go to the bottom of four. No score at Wrigley. Billy Williams, Ron Santo, Johnny Callison, lefty, righty, lefty for the Cubs in inning number four. The sweet swinger is 0 for 1. Gary Nolan winds and deals. We have a ballpark check. Left-handed batter, of course, Billy Williams. 54 chart, wildest section. Catcher interference on batter's swing. Batter safe at first. That's going to be an error on Johnny Bench. So an E2 puts Williams at first. And Santo comes to the plate, one for one. Reds infield playing for a double play. Nolan the stretch and the pitch to Santa. We have another ballpark check. Right-handed batter this time. And it's popped up. Drifting into foul territory. Lee May over by the stands. And it's out of play. Somebody from Naperville caught that one. And Ron Santos back in there for another shot at Gary Nolan. 
the pitch is a comebacker to Nolan. He turns and fires to Davy Concepcion. The relay from Concepcion to Lee May is not in time. Santo beats the rap at first. Williams is retired 1-6 on the fielder's choice. And here's Johnny Callison on an 0-for-1 day. Nolan the stretch, the pitch, base hit, no, oh, ball four, excuse me, ball four for Callison, two Cubs on now with one out, Red still hoping for a double play ball, this time from Ernie Banks, Nolan the stretch, the pitch to Mr. Cub, is extra bases, it's going to get over the head of Bobby Tolan who is playing too shallow for the Cubs Hall of Famer, scoring is Santo. Callison will be, let's check uh, Tolan's arm. He will be held at third on a double by Banks, and it's one nothing Cubs. So Callison goes to third, Banks with a double, one out. Reds infield going to play back, and Hickman is up. Nolan the stretch, the pitch to Hickman. Ground ball, Davy Concepcion. To his left, he cuts it off from going up the middle, plants and throws to Lee May. That retires Hickman. Callison scores. It's 2 nothing Cubs, and Banks goes to third with two outs. J.C. Martin is up. 2-0 Chicago. J.C. is 0-for-1. Banks at third with two outs. Nolan the stretch. The delivery to the Cubs catcher is ball four. He walked in one of those unintentional, intentional walks, and that'll bring up Bill Hands. Nolan the stretch checks the runners at first and third, and the pitch to the Cub pitcher. I struck him out. The Broccoli Cauliflower Medley with a little nacho cheese. Gas. We go to the fifth. Two nothing Chicago. Couple of runs on one hit in the Chicago fourth. All right, it's going to be Lee May, Bernie Carbo, and Davey Concepcion coming up in the fifth for the Reds. Hands has a two nothing lead. Bill Hands winds and deals to Lee May. Strikeout chance. Hey, struck him out. He humped up on that fastball. Third strikeout for Hands. Third strikeout in the last four batters. Carbo up 0 for 1. The pitch from Hands. Bernie Carbo strikes out on a bender. That's strikeout number four. And now it's Davey who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. Concepcion with Nolan, who would be next. The pitch to Concepcion. Combacker, gloved by hands. He takes a couple steps toward Banks and flips him the ball. That retires the Reds in the fifth. We're halfway through this one. We go to the bottom of the fifth with a 2 nothing Cubs advantage over the Reds. Top of the order coming for the Cubs. Kessinger, Beckert, and Williams against Gary Nolan. The pitch to Don Kessinger. Don puts a charge into one. Down the right field line. Back goes Rose in the well is Kessinger, and he makes his Rose... And the makes the catch for out number one. Beckert up now. 0 for 2. Nolan kicks and deals. Beckert gets a piece of it. Line drive. Rose coming in hard is Pete. And there's two down. Now it's Billy Williams. 0 for 2 for Billy. The pitch from Nolan. Ballpark check. We have a left-handed batter. And Billy hits one to center and deep. 
It's going to one-hop the wall. Billy Williams around first, heading to second. He's going to cruise in with a double. And he's there with two outs for Santo. Nolan the stretch, the pitch to Ron. Santos swings, pops it up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Tony Perez in fair territory. Calling and taking for out number three. We go to the sixth, and it's 2 nothing Cubs. Gary Nolan will lead off for Cincinnati. Or, if you're Sparky Anderson, Cincinnati. Or, if you're Milo Hamilton about half the time, Cincinnati. So there's a variety of ways to go about it. Nolan is 0 for 1. Bill Hands kicks and deals. That is going to be an error check unless he strikes him out. He does not. The error check will be for Glenn Beckert. Glenn Beckert's error number is an 8. And he boots it. It's an E4 on Beckert. Off the heel of his glove, Nolan reaches safely on the air, and now Rose comes up. Infield at double play depth. Pete's 0 for 2. We're in the 6th. It's 2 nothing Cubs. The pitch to Pete from Bill Hands, and there's a base hit for Rose. Uh, checking Nolan's speed. He will stop at 2nd. 2 on now with nobody out for Tommy Helms. Could be a bunting opportunity here. Or he might let him swing away. Hands the stretch. The pitch to Helms. He squares to bunt. Oh, and Tommy bunts one into foul territory. That's going to be strike three. Five strikeouts for Hands. Now it's Tolan. Infield playing for two. It's going to be tough to turn one on Bobby. The pitch from Hands to Tolan. Base hit for Bobby Tolan. This will... They're going to put the brakes on, on Nolan at third. The bases are dripping with reds. And there's one man out for Tony Perez. Leo DeRocher nervous in that Cub dugout. Tony Perez went deep 40 times in 1970. Hands the stretch, the pitch to Perez. Hey! Struck him out on a bender. And that's two down, six strikeouts for Hands. Here's Bench. Can you get through both Perez and Bench without any run scoring? Johnny's 0 for 2. The pitch from Bill Hands. Hit to center and deep. Back goes Hickman. He's on his horse and he's going to get there on the warning track to make the catch for out number 3. One more biscuit for breakfast and Johnny Bench has himself a granny. But no. Johnny Callis and Ernie Banks Jim Hickman in the bottom of the sixth for the Cubs. They have a 2-0 lead as Bill Hands got his way out of the sixth inning mess. Callison's 0 for 1. Nolan kicks and deals. We have an error check for the Reds. Hit to Tony Perez. Perez at third is an error 12. He makes the play to Lee May for out number one. Ernie Banks. One out, nobody on. Gary Nolan winds and deals to Banks. Another error check unless he strikes him out. He does not. This error check will be to center field for Bobby Tolan. Tolan is an error seven. He makes the catch for out number two. Jim Hickman, 0 for 2. Gary Nolan winds and deals. Ball four, he walked the Cubs center fielder. That'll bring up J.C. Martin, who has 0 for 1 and a walk for his day so far. Bill Hands would be next. The pitch 
J.C. Martin, ground ball, Tommy Helms. He's going to go the short way to Concepcion, and that's going to retire the Cubs in the sixth. We go to the seventh. Cubs two, Reds nothing. And I suppose we should start talking about stamina since the story of the Cubs season has been the bullpen so far and the pretty much unqualified disaster that it has been. Uh, Bill Hands can go 32 batters before fatigue becomes an issue. He has gone uh, 23. Lee May comes to the plate. He'll be followed by Carbo and then Concepcion. 6 7 8 in Sparky Anderson's order today. The pitch from Hands. Base hit to center field. Jim Hickman collects it and throws it back in. Carbo up. Infield playing for two. Bernie's 0 for 2. The pitch from Hands. is hit on the ground to Ron Santo. Ron knocks it down, picks it up. His only play is going to be to first base, and he makes it with Ernie Banks making a nice stretch on the play. Lee May advances to second base, and now it'll be Concepcion. Davey is 0 for 2. May is 1 for 3, the pitch. is going to be tapped in front of home. J.C. Martin is on it. He holds May at second and fires to Banks at first for out number two in the inning. That's going to bring up Gary Nolan, and that's going to bring up Would Sparky pinch hit for Nolan here in the top of the seventh? Yes, I think he would, so I'm going to do that as well. Gary Nolan's day is done. And... We're going to go to Ray Washburn's going to start to throw in the Reds bullpen. And the pinch hitter is going to be Jimmy Stewart. And he will bat for Nolan. So with two outs and Lee May at second, Jimmy Stewart's going to try and deliver the first Reds run of the game. Bill hands the stretch and the pitch to the Reds pinch hitter. Stewart hits it in the air to right, but not deep. Johnny Callison by the line is going to make the catch for out number three. It is time to stretch him out at Wrigley. The bottom of the seventh coming, and it's the Cubs two. And the Reds, nothing. The new pitcher will be right-hander Ray Washburn. You know him, you love him from the Cincinnati or from the St. Louis Cardinals. He will face Hands, Kessinger, and Beckert. Let's see what kind of stuff he's got. 30, 35 games, 66 innings, and a four and four record for Ray. He has B stuff. All right, so Bill Hands will lead it off for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh. Washburn kicks and deals. Ballpark check. Bill Hands, a right-handed batter. We're going to go to the 54 chart again. Pop up. Shallow right field caught by Lee May. We're going to roll a D6. If it's a 3, the first baseman's hurt. If it's 4, the second baseman's hurt. If it's 5, the right fielder's hurt. It's 5, and Pete Rose is hurt. So, we're using as-played lineups for the other team. So, Rose is going to be out for the rest of the game. 
but he will be available tomorrow for the last game of the series. So May makes the catch. Rose is done. Put a fork in him. And the new right fielder will be... Uh, they're going to have McCray play left and Carbo play right. So Hal McCray will come in the game and in the leadoff spot, and Carbo will move over to right field. Pete is done. Yeah, they'll do it that way. All right. Now it's Don Kessinger against Ray Washburn. The pitch. Kessinger swings, grounds it to Tommy Helms. Tommy to his left, plants and throws to Lee May. For out number two in the bottom of the seventh, here's Glenn Beckert. 0 for 3. Washburn kicks and deals. This is going to be a base hit for Beckert. I'll bring up Billy Williams. Santo would be next. Washburn the stretch. The pitch to Billy. Base hit. For Williams, Beckert will go to third. There's going to be Cubs at the corners now for Santo. Washburn in a jam. Sparky does not want to keep using his bullpen, so we're going to see here if Santo can come through for the Cubs. One for three for Ronnie today. Washburn the stretch, the pitch. Going to have another error check unless he strikes him out. One to two. No. The error check is for the pitcher, Ray Washburn, and he fumbles it. Beckard comes home. It's 3 nothing Cubs. Williams goes to second and unearned run. Johnny Callison comes to the plate 0 for 2. Washburn the stretch. The pitch to Callison is ball four. The bases are dripping with Cubs. That's going to bring up Banks, who's one for three, and a chance to bury the Reds. Washburn the stretch, the pitch to Ernie Banks. Banks swings and hits it to center and deep. Tolan into left center is room and time to get there, and he makes the play for out number three. The Cubs get a run out of all that on two hits. It's an unearned run, but it does count. We go to the eighth. The Cubs three, Reds nothing. Top of the order coming for Sparky Anderson's Reds. It'll be Hal McRae, then Tommy Helms, then Bobby Tolan. McRae one for three, the pitch. Hey, struck him out. Bill Hands has seven Ks. He has faced 28 batters on his way to 32 before stamina becomes an issue. And Jim Colborne is throwing in the, in the bullpen for the Cubs. Helms is 0 for 3, the pitch from Hands. Base hit, Tommy Helms to right. Tommy takes Hands the other way. Bobby Tolan comes up. Cubs playing for a double play. Hands the stretch, the pitch to Tolan. And this is going to be a ground ball. To Beckert. Becker to his right, gloves it, flips to Kessinger for one. The relay to Banks is not in time. Tolan beats the rap at first. Helms retired 4-6 on the fielder's choice, and now it's Perez with two outs. Tony is one for three. Bench would be next. Hands the stretch, the pitch. Ground ball, Beckert, he gloves it, throws to Banks, and that ends the Reds' eighth.
Bill Hands is three outs away from shutting out the Cincinnati Reds. All right, so we're going to have Washburn start the inning, however, in the bullpen for the Reds. Tony Cloninger and Bo Belinsky. It's lefty-righty, double-barreled action just the way Sparky likes it. Whenever he's in the Windy City. Hickman, Martin, and Hands, 7-8-9 for the Cubs coming up in the 8th. 3-0 Chicago. Washburn winds and deals. We're going to have another error check for the Reds, unless he strikes him out. He does not. It's a 51. That's a ground ball to Concepcion. Davies' error number is 12. He boots it, and he launches it into the first base box seats. Hickman's going to take second on a two-base error by Concepcion and now J.C. Martin. J.C. is 0 for 2. Washburn the stretch, the delivery. Hey, struck him out. One gone in the eighth. First strikeout for Washburn. Here's Hands. Washburn the stretch. The pitch to Hands. He squares to Bunt. He gets it down. It's back to Washburn, but it's a good one. Ray's going to throw to Helms covering first, and that will advance Hickman to third with two outs. And now Kessinger is up with... An insurance run for the Cubs 90 feet away, or as they say in central Illinois, insurance. Kessinger one for four. Washburn the stretch and the delivery. This will be a ground ball. Nice diving stop, Tommy Helms. He gets up, he throws to May. That retires the Cubs in the eighth. We go to the ninth with your score. Cubs three, Reds nothing. Bill Hands coming out to try and finish the deal. He will be fatigued the next time somebody reaches base. It's Bench, May, and Carbo. Five, six, seven in the Reds order in the top of the ninth. 28, 31, yep. Nope. After this batter, he makes an out. Colborne is ready in the Cubs' bullpen. The pitch to bench is a base hit. That's batter 32. So now, starting now, he can be fatigued. Hands the stretch. The pitch to Lee May. Cubs infield playing for two. The pitch to Lee May is a 54 chart. Uh, let's see. That's a wild pitch. Advancing to second is Bench. The next delivery to Lee May. May swings, hits it to left, but not deep. Billy Williams is there, out number one. Carbo coming up. Bernie is 0 for 3. The pitch to him. This is going to be a ground ball to Ernie Banks. To his right, he gloves it and feeds hands covering. Two down. Concepcion coming up. Sparky's going to take a look at his lineup card. And... And Davey's going to bat. All right. Bill Hands, the stretch, the delivery, the Concepcion... Davy ground ball Santo, right by the bag. Fires to Banks, and the Cubs win. Bill Hands shuts out the National League West Division leading Cincinnati Reds.
by a score of three to nothing. Let's give you the totals for the victorious and homestanding Chicago Cubs. Three runs, six hits, and they committed one error. For the Reds, no runs. Seven hits, all of them singles, and they committed one, two errors, three errors. The winning pitcher is Bill Hands. He is now four and one. The losing pitcher is Gary Nolan. Bill Hands is the game MVP. He went the distance, shut him out, seven hits, scattered seven hits, didn't walk anybody, struck out seven. That gets you a game MVP in my book. So the Cubs improve now to a record of 14 and 11. Next up, game 26, May 10th, 1970. Be our next game. It's going to be Wayne Simpson, the right-hander, for the Cincinnati Reds, also a young hard thrower. He'll be opposed by Cubs ace Fergie Jenkins. Hope you'll join me. Check out channel membership. The link for the membership of my channel is in the description for this video. Lots of stuff. You get discounts on the secondary store, free cards every month, exclusive videos, much more, a big archive of videos there just for members only. Thanks for being with me. Hope you have a good day. So long, everybody.